day one. I'm a little early. I'm gonna go to breakfast. Um, Kelly did end up showing up last night and I hung out with him for a little bit but decided not to like do much or vlog. Um, he's in the red line. I thankfully got mine yesterday. I'm gonna go see. Apparently the line's already super long even though it doesn't open for an hour so we're gonna adventure and go find it. Let's see. There's a lot of people around already. I don't know. I'm just wandering. Let's find out. He said he's by the FedEx office, so I'm gonna see if I can find where that is. Let's see. Okay, that looks like it's actually a line for this restaurant. Thank you. All right, this is the end of the line, I think. So, let's see. Yeah, this is pretty long compared to yesterday. When I went yesterday and I only got, um, I know that's just for Starbucks. Okay, he said the line was by Starbucks. It must have moved somewhere else. Unless there's another Starbucks. Maybe there's another Starbucks. There's a lot of Starbucks this year. Like there's a Starbucks over by where my elevators are and then there's a Starbucks right there and they're like five feet apart. So there's just Starbucks everywhere here. This way. Here's the line. Found it. Okay, it's still obviously longer than yesterday since it hadn't opened yet. But it's not all the way back by the Starbucks. Alright, they've apparently moved, so I'm not sure where he's at. So I'm gonna keep looking with my camera. There they are. Hello! You missed him. Him and his entourage went right by. What? You missed Yoshi. No! Every year! He literally, his whole entourage, every whole year. selfie stick walked right by. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna be another year of sadness, I can feel it. We are on our way to the Fan Fest! I hear it's Line Con already and that it's already packed and it's still like 40 minutes until the show starts, so this should be interesting. Hi guys! Hey, what's up? Everyone say hello! Hello! Alright, so we're going this direction. Hello! Hi. Oh, oh, it's a metal detector, that's right. So we have to go through a metal detector. I probably will not be vlogging this, but there's very tight security going on. So that's a good thing, I guess. We cleared the metal detector, and now we are just going down a long-ass hallway to what I hear is a room with another line inside. We are on the way to figure this out. I don't know. Here we go. And we picked up a Davy along the way. Hi. Ah! She's on to me. <laughs> There's some cool cosplays already. Oh, I can't really get it. Straight back. All right, we'll see what this looks like in a minute. All right, the line has stopped. And it's moving on this side. And when we looked in, it was completely packed. So I don't know if we're going to be able to sit. Probably not. That's OK. I'll just be a crazy hyper jumping person on the side. I'm good at that. Oh my god, it's for your vlog. It is for my vlog. Hello. Oh, wow. Hi, friends. Milady. Oh, thanks. Hello. Did again. you just smirk at me? I Hello. did. <laughs> I always smirk at you. So the line is moving. We'll see. I don't know why we're stopped now. Guess we'll find out. And we have arrived. Here we go. Out and around. Here we go. Oh, look at the look at the Kugane stuff over there. Oh, we're all standing. Yeah, we can stand. That's okay. It's it's completely full. I might just go find somewhere on the side so I can get good video coverage. But. Some cosplayers doing the cosplay thing. There's like a gold saucer, Crystal Tower, Strike. Oh, Strike game. I think. Oh, there's an Etherite, guys. There's an Etherite. And some Kugane stuff. And no place to sit, because why would there be places to sit in a sold out place? Okay, so we have like 30 minutes before stuff starts. I don't know where to go since all the seats are filled up.
undone. History must be unwritten. Let it be unwritten. Become what you must. Become the warrior of darkness. Venture into Kugane and see what this is. We are now in Kugane. The world has transformed into Kugane. Woo! It's pretty. I guess it's just like a resting, sitting area with like a really pretty Kugane background over here. It's pretty. It's pretty. Oh, it's got like a cool thing on the ground going on. Over here, people are trying to do the Kugane Tower Climb, 
Apparently, if you can do it, if the first 30 people to do it, get a plushie. I feel like I could do it, but not in the first 30, so I don't know. There's a really long queue line for it right now, so I will probably wait and do it later. <laughs> so we're about to go find the gaming room, because I guess this year it's not all in one big room, it's actually in two separate rooms. So this room has like the Kugani rest area and the etherite and the Kugani tower challenge, but then there's also like gold saucer mini games. So here's some people doing the basketball challenge right now. And I think there's also the tower striker over there. Let's see. I don't know if someone's gonna do it. There they go. Maybe. They failed. Okay. And we all got Cactpot raffle tickets, so we're gonna go and find the like bucket. Why is it so zoomed in on my face? This is like the worst ever. Wow. No, wrong way. We're gonna go find the spot to put. To, we're gonna go to the gold saucer. Are you guys ready to go to the gold saucer? Let's go. Let's go onwards. Onwards to the gold saucer. Here we go. Here we go. This is, wow, look. This is cool. It's like legit gold saucer here. Oh, there's Chocobo Racing. Oh, the cact pot bucket's over here, so we're going to go submit our cact pot. Wait, every hour they're doing the raffle? Yeah, starting from 2.30 today. Oh, so how do we know if we win? Where do we... So yeah. on the bigger card, there's a URL on the bottom. They can check, and we'll be posting the numbers right. right oh, yeah. perfect. That's awesome. Oh, let me see what the prizes are. Oh my gosh, I want all of these. Oh my gosh, every hour. Wow, I need to be checking that. That's so cool. All right. Thank you. Chocobo racing is a thing over here. Oh, you race by throwing your balls into the holes. Ready? Go. It's like ski ball. And the chocobos move if you're doing really well. This is adorable. I will come back and do this later. Alright, the infamous wall of names is back. Let's see if there's any room. Is there a Sargatana section going on over here? Sargatanas, I see Belmung, I see Cactuar, I don't see Sarg, I see Gilgrim, Adamantus. Sargatanas. Oh, Sarg is over here. Hey, Sarg, let's sign our names. Here we go. I wrote a big limit break radio thing down here. I don't know if anyone else is going to sign it there, though. But I also signed my name as close to Sargatanas as I could. I don't even, I already lost where I wrote it. I can't even find it. Where did I even write my name, guys? I've already lost it. Oh, it's right here. There it is. Found it. So the like development panel of Ultimate Ult Ultimate Ultima is starting. My name is I'm hoping that we can hear it from the gaming room. I guess we'll find out. Alright. Alright, we have found the gaming room. It's totally separate. So like last year everything has been in one room and so the actual room for the con the, the panels is over there. The store is over there, and the gaming room is over here. So let's see what's in here. Okay, they are showing they are showing the panel in here. That's good. The panel is up on the screen, and here we have all of the queue lines for all of the things. This is a special Yojimbo battle going on here. We should do this. It's like got its own arena. It's new. And let's see what else they have going on here. What's over here? I'm not sure what this challenge is. They're setting their hot bars up right now. Let's see. what this is. It has Yugiri on the top. Is there a sign for this one? I don't know. What is this? Oh, challenge. It's the battle challenge roulette. So you spin the roulette and you get one of these challenges. Tiny Warrior of Light versus Giant Worm. 
And over here is Fashion Leader Live. I don't know what this is. This has no line. Let's see what Fashion Leader Live is. We're trying to figure out which pieces go with the fashion report. Maybe these are the fake fingernails. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. But these also have claws on them. But they say they're not things. These really look like things. So maybe it's this. Beach bum. Could be. Oh, this is the beach outfit, right? Yeah. Gur. No, this. What do you think? Oh, that's the werewolf. The werewolf feet from the Halloween event. Yeah. Uh, I guess we get to take our prize thing back to the gold saucer later to get prizes for doing it. Over here is the dueling circle, and I know that you do a thing, and then you bring it back at the gold saucer. It said dueling circle submissions, and you put it into a thing. So I don't know what you do here. Oh, you actually duel each other, or do you duel dummies? Or no, you duel each other, like in, in the wolf den. Or you do the the dummies? I'm not sure what the rules are for this. If you want to change jobs, step out of the dueling area and then press the share button. Alright. There's also this graphics card advertising itself over here. And then there's the Eureka Survival Challenge. Survival Challenge has no picture. Um, I'm not sure. Hi, hi. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing to survive your ego. But I guess we'll find out. And then we can see the panel going on up there. We did the Eureka Challenge. The first time we lost like by a landslide, it was really embarrassing. Um, and so I, my camera was all messed up too, so I got a slow start, it wasn't fair. And then we did it again, and then we tied, and they stamped both of our cards. So thankfully, we got the stamp, yay! So we don't want to do the bigger stuff without more people, so I think we're gonna go back to the other room and look for the other challenges and just see what there is. Oh, this is the storyline? Yeah. Is there a different stuff at the store, or is it all the stuff that we could pre-order? Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, let's go back in here. Yeah, there's a food place. Last year it was like pizza and stuff. And this panel is still going on, somehow. And because I knew that this was where I was going to ultimately take the battle, that everything else would just fall. Oh, what is this? Is this a photo suite? Oh! It's a photo suite. With a green screen. I want to take a picture. Look at that. Sexy Derp Lander. What is he going to do? Fist bump? Oh yeah, he's going to do fist bump. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. No, he's not. He's gonna do bro fist. <laughs> All right. Actually, but that's not even the best one. I have one more. Let's show the next video too. Oh, job change. Lock and pop. What is he gonna do this time? Oh, is he gonna do the box step? Everybody's favorite box step. No, he's not gonna do the box step because he is too legit. <laughs> Own that music, so. Oh, no. so. so the lore panel just ended, and we came back here, and I'm looking, and Yoshi is like, right there. <laughs> He's right there. Oh, it's blurry. Can't focus on him. There he is. But the line for his autograph right now, it's like over there and really long. Oh, oh Fox Pond's over there too. And. Uh, <laughs> I'm eating and I have to go back in the merch line for some stuff. So maybe I'll be able to get his autograph and picture this year. Maybe. I'm gonna try.
Really? Hyperion! Judges, some time to deliberate for a bit. Uh, Aya, do you want to talk to some of the uh, oh, contestants? Yes, and then, most definitely. I know you, are, you saw firsthand a lot of these yes. outfits. I'm going to go all the way over there okay. first because I feel like there should be some. I'm, okay, I'll just. <laughs> the sword is made, it's just it's beyond belief to me. So it's operated by an Arduino Metro Mini chipset. Of course, I, that's what I would have guessed. Oh, yeah, of course, easily. Obviously. and its programs for the wings to light up and then shimmer so you see they light up oh. Oh. <laughs> and then they shimmer <laughs> and there's, switch there's switches inside to make it do that automatically oh my goodness that is really awesome that is beyond me get it girl yeah that's really really cool all right who shall I talk to next? So many good costumes, so hard to choose who I talk to. <laughs> we would have loved to award each and every single one of you, but. Best one was. Magnets!
had food and now I'm babbling, but everyone's still just kind of hanging around. Hi, hi. And I just changed the thing and now it stopped recording and now it started again. So now everyone's recording again. Because I changed my setting and it stopped the recording. So we're waiting for Cal. Oh, there, wait, there they come. They're coming now. They're coming. LBR is coming. Okay. I'm really hungry. I should stop. I'm stopping. I don't know how I'm still awake. <laughs> It's like 4.30 in the morning. I ended up, after we went out to eat, I ended up going back to the Rio where a bunch of content creators and other people were still like sitting around at this open bar area and just being cray cray and I just couldn't leave the party. Oh my god. I don't even drink, I just like hanging out with people, it's fun. The after party was really awesome, it felt way too short though. This Fortnite was not supposed to go the whole time, but it did. My battery's still blinking at me, so I have to make this short. So, I mean, I'm excited for tomorrow. I was, today was awesome. The announcements were good, but now we just have to see if Square Enix actually follows through with, you know, all the things that it seems like are going to be cool. So, we'll see. But, um, I'm going to get like three, four hours of sleep, maybe. So, uh, it should be fun. I'll be really exhausted tomorrow. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. But, I had a really good time. It's going to be, it's going to be sad when I leave. I mean... This was the end of Limit Break Radio, the podcast which I've been doing forever. Um, I mean, the rest, the, three of our hosts do Checkpoint Radio, which is an actually syndicated radio show about esports and gaming news. And they've been acquired and cannot legally appear on other shows. So I still own Limit Break Radio, and I'll do something with it, and I'll do something with the Twitch channel, but, you know, Limit Break Radio and its current podcasting capacity of the last, what, 13 years <laughs> is uh, officially over. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, tomorrow's, tomorrow's the final day, so I'm going to make the most of it and then be sad when everyone's gone. But I don't know. Like it's, it's, I'm really happy for them, and it's not truly the end. It's, it's a new beginning. So we'll see where it goes. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.